right. We seem to be live. Because I haven't done it this way for a while. Um, today, as you can tell, we are going to be playing F1 20. Three. Now, I know it's a black screen right now because I haven't loaded up the game. I've only loaded it up to make sure that Streamlabs can capture the game and then I've left instantly. I haven't seen what's on the game yet, like, at all. So, I'm going to click play right now and I'm going to open the game and we're going to react to this first go as well. I've also, you know, got my world set up and everything. If you can hear some background noise, like fan noise, I have got my fan going. It's quite hot in the UK. I mean, that's that. This is the classic EA Codemasters loading screen. That was pretty standard, and I think this is the new logo, like the new intro screen thing. It's, just, it's got the new drivers in. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to literally look at all of that because I probably will get copyrighted for showing that. Look at the top left, by the way. They've changed the um, the loading, like, uh, animation, like, text and things. There we go. you got Lewis Hamilton, Charlotte Claire, and Lando Norris. Press any button. They have, done, they have changed this. So yeah, there's two new tracks in this game. And there's also, well obviously they've redone the liveries, the new cars and things like that. So it's very different. They've massively rechanged the handling as well. No one really needs to, uh, like, you know, you know, I read this. <laughs> Does anyone actually ever use this to be, like, see this to be honest? You probably should, but... Honestly, I don't even... I don't really. Am I going to have to log in? I think it will do it automatically, actually. Alright then. I'm uh, going to leave that standard. Yes. Because I do want thingamajig on. Voice chat. I don't want voice chat on at all. I think that'll be fine for now. This is music. And I think this is actually license free as well. So like the uh, creators. That's cool. So yeah, you got the next version of Breaking Point. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn this down though. Um, standard. There's audio. Oh, I can actually have that as theme. I, I don't know what that does. Oh, it's this one. Okay, I'm going to turn that down. I want the soundtrack back on. That was cool. Oh, let me just double check my settings. Um... Yeah, that should be fine. I'll leave ray tracing on for now. So yeah, they've got the next chapter of Breaking Point or Breaking Point 2. Uh, you've got the standard career as well. Uh, you got F1 World, which Welcome is new F1 for F1 23. A journey through the sport that will offer you events based around casual or competitive play, single player or multiplayer, fun versus realism, and everything in between. As you play, you learn upgrades that can be equipped to your car and team in the along the I way. I don't you care. Build up your compendium. Find new so when you're ready, jump into the play screen and take your first step. So I guess this is like multiplayer. You race and you get different things. Oh, apparently Big B's there. <laughs> Be 
few other people here as well. There's the different car. Apparently you have to like... You have to like... Upgrade your car. To like make it even better. We've got local multiplayer, league racing. And store theater and options. So obviously theater will be able to, you know, you do the thing. Right, so... I think F1 World is like single player. So this is what we call the activity screen. It's basically your jumping off point. Okay, so feel free to Okay, maybe not then. Look around and when... Uh how do I play just standard? Just standardly. <laughs> Career maybe? No. It's not under breaking point, is it? How do I just do a, a, a standard, like, race, like a quick race? Maybe I should have listened to what that guy was saying. Because <laughs> I actually do not know what I'm supposed to be looking at right now. Let me just check my assist as well. I actually kind of want everything off, to be honest. Drift assist. Never knew there was a drift. Um, let's try all of these off. So actually, in theory, I could probably actually turn that to like elite. There we go. I don't think it is in F1 world because I had a look in there. It just said play, which I tried going into and it didn't do anything. It was like playing online. Oh, maybe it is then. Oh, okay. Time trial. F123. Oh my god, look at these cars. I mean, I know I've seen them before, but... Look at these. Especially that one. Wow. Right, well, I'm obviously going to go with my... Uh, I'm obviously going to go with the Mercedes. So, yeah, we've got Qatar in here as well. And uh, Las Vegas as well. Seems like they've added China, France and Portugal as well. There's like the free DLC tracks. With get. Uh, Right, shall we start off at Las Vegas? Here we go. All right. I like that blue lighting from the from the top. That's actually really cool. Okay, none of my friends have played at Las Vegas. Uh, in terms of setups, I'll probably just put on this person's because I, I know that they're an F1 esports driver. Actually, I know most of them are, you know, like Nicholas Longay, uh, Danny Berezne, Thomas Ronha. But Marcel Kiefer is another Mercedes esports driver, so I'm probably just going to go with his. I'm going to go out. Oh, listen to that noise! I think I might actually turn it up slightly. Oh, no, not that one. Audio settings. Oh, as well. Um, cinematic and things like that. Hey, they still got David Croft on here. Something the F1 YouTube channel failed to achieve. Oh, I don't want that, actually. Hold on, let me return to garage. I don't want telemetry on. Um, time trial settings, off, off. I don't like any ghosts. Right, let's go out again, shall we? No, I wasn't streaming yesterday. Let me actually um, get rid of the halo as well. Because it's quite distracting. 
When I play in VR, I leave it on there because your eye, you know, the way your eyes work and how they're positioned really like kind of like blinds out the halo, but I think while we're playing just in this mode, we'll just leave it off. Because I have no idea where I'm going. Good job. I've already locked up. Good start. I don't seem to have any force feedback, which is slightly concerning. Um... Vibration and force feedback. It doesn't feel like I have any. I don't even have these on anyway, so let me just turn them off. And this is usually on 100 as well. Saving the control scheme. Uh, F1. Done. <laughs> It doesn't feel like I have any force feedback. Okay, that's the traction then. I have no false feedback whatsoever. Famous Las Vegas, you know, streets. Didn't they call it the the the? What did they call it in Las Vegas? Something. I think they call it the Strip, but I can't remember. So that would be the pits on the left. Oh, I massively just cut the curb. Massively cut that. <laughs> Jumping over the curbs. I really need to get my force feedback working. I actually did not even realise that corner was there. <laughs> right, I'm gonna restart the game. I forgot we have we had all of this. Thanks for that. Yeah I'm just gonna re uh re launch the game quickly. Hopefully that'll give me my force feedback.
Hey, 150 cash. <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna quick. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly quit and relaunch. In the hope of actually getting force feedback. And if I don't get force feedback, then I don't know what's gone on. Cause I need it. <laughs> So that's how you get into the thing then. Get back over to... Actually, should, should we do Qatar now? Let's do Qatar. Who's got setups? And he's got like, he's got another one, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay, right. I've got oh, right. I've got force feedback now. So okay, right. We're good. probably concentrate now. I think a lot of real, you know, live F1 drivers are going a bit wider than their race back here in 21. I think this is like some of the final corners here. I think, I think that's where last three boss has got his puncture that time. I just seeded. But still learning, so. Still time to make up. Okay, no, you, you do need to break there then, okay. <laughs> I thought you could probably just lift there. Oh, I didn't really catch the apex there. I don't know if it's me, but the frame rate seems a little bit juddery. I don't know if it picks up on the stream, but... The frame rate seems weird.
Let me just turn off ray tracing. It's probably that. Left the laps. Right, you probably can lift there then. And there. Straight away until the uh, to the, until the end of the lap. I think you could see me. I was I like opened the steering a little bit because I knew I was going to cut that. Seal seems a little bit weird. I don't know if that's just a day one patch or. Right, well, that was cool, I suppose. Uh, I'll go ahead and end the session. Let's see. If you're not expecting that. Then, yeah, it just seems that, you know, it just like jumps out at you. Oh, yeah, if you can already tell, I, I kind of want to try and like train myself to not use the racing line because I kind of rely on the racing line quite a bit now and I kind of, I kind of don't want to do that anymore. I kind of want to like play fully, if that makes sense. Like, without any assists. You know, I actually train myself to not use them. Yeah, well, I went a little bit wide there. I don't know how I didn't actually get track limits for that. Maybe it's because I, like, slowed down. Is that me, or can you actually see the car porpoising a little bit? You, you can actually see, like, the front and back sort of, like, sway a little bit. You know, it's very subtle, but you can see it. Yeah, that was a quite decent lap, that, I think. Right, we'll try Las Vegas again. Hopefully, with my force feedback, I should be able to, you know, navigate through the streets of, you know, Las Vegas again. <laughs> oh, 
450 cash, awesome. Before we do that though, I'm just gonna customize my driver profile so I have the number nine and make sure that I'm selected as UK as well. Because I want the number 95 plus that's the number that I'm gonna have for my league as well so might as well select it now before I forget. I think our league race on Thursday might be on F123, but don't judge me because I'm not too sure. So bright as well at Las Vegas, it's kind of tricky to see where you're supposed to go. And remember, wait for that left, don't turn in too early. Thing is, I'm sort of learning the track, but I just can't, you know, react quickly enough and see where my breaking points are. And that's why I kind of like the assist of the racing line. Like, I, I'm just trying to focus on not trying to crash the car, and then before you know it, I'm like at the next turn. Still getting a few stutters with the frame rate. I, th I think there's a hard left coming up soon. Turned in early again. Not the best lap, is it? Oh my god, that's e that's even more tricky because you're turning and braking at the same time. I need to get a really late apex on that one. What about that same corner?
I'm really messing up my lines, I know that. The brakes are interesting. Still better than F122 though. But he's not good in that corner. through there but then I can't remember for that corner <sighs> do I have the racing line on will it actually help me just because I have not even seen real left one cars racing on this track so I have no idea what the proper lines are and like where remotely breaking points would be okay At least the brake for that corner didn't go straight on, right? I think we're gonna get. I think we're gonna end that one. So loud. And we might see if we can do another track. Um, that we can do. Uh, or that I know. So then try and you know. Maximize that. And then, yeah, we'll do a 35% race with that new feature. And then we'll try and do um, and then we'll try and do the um, thingamajig. Um, Wait, no, that didn't make sense. Just just forget me. I know my stepdad says it, it looks very pretty. Oh, yeah, Yano. That's how it is. <laughs> At Monaco. This is really going to test me. <laughs> I don't think there's any needed for uh, for rain. I think just trying to drive Monaco is in the first place is kind of very tricky in itself. Ow! Well, the rear's locked up there. Seventeen. I think they've removed that bump.
Alright, 114. I think that's only like three seconds off like the poll time. <laughs> still plenty of time to make up, you know, or still plenty of mistakes to, you know. Plenty of time to make up. Right, I'm just going to see how my stream's doing on Twitch as well. Just saying hello to anyone who's over there. If any. Nah. <laughs> no one decided to go on Twitch this morning, that's fine. And 300 cash as well. Um... I think it was all right with no uh, racing line, but it is a case of getting used to it. F1 World Car? No, I want F1 23. Um, we'll do a race at Spain. Why not? Mercedes. Actually, I want to see if we can cause a red flag. What circuit's best for causing a red flag at? Well, unfortunately, that does leave Monaco. <laughs> uh, okay, right, let's set these. Difficulty, we'll set that all the way up. I think we'll probably go with 80, I think. Um... So medium is 35, long, full. So quick fire. Okay, so they've... Very short was three laps. That's now five laps. And quick fire is on three laps. Short is 25. Medium is 35. Long is 50. And full is 100. Makes sense. Uh, clear. Because I literally cannot be bothered. To race in the rain. Uh, strict. See, so yeah, red flags have that increased. What's that? I don't know what that means. Um, I have all of these on increased as well. Music's good though. <laughs> I can vibe with that. Okay. Race strategy. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Ah, oh, don't have a pr oh, didn't save a thing. Okay, pull the clutch in, hold it there until the start. Let's build the revs up and hold them. <laughs> Probably did not end well that. It is definitely a case of getting used to actually learning the tracks, I think. It's also just learning a new car as well. Which is why I thought starting to learn to drive without racing line would be a good thing, because... 
while you're, you know, then redoing time trial, you're also learning how to drive the car. And I thought at the same time, may, you know, maybe try and learn the tracks as well at the same time. And learn to not drive with um, the racing line. Not breaking enough though for that corner. I didn't turn down the thing to 35%, did I? Well, I'm gonna have to <laughs> reset up this race. I forgot to turn it down to um, thingy when I went through all of the options. I just realized that when I got into the thing. It's kind of tricky to, you know, see the breaking points in, you know, in the uh, in cockpit view. You know, it was actually quite tricky. Are there any other tracks that'll be good for a red flag? Saudi could actually. Uh, we'll switch on equal performance as well. Gonna have to reset this up. Okay, that's saved. Reconstructure, set that to 35. Make sure all of this is on. Oh, well, that, yeah, cool. I, I, yeah, I did try Qatar. It's quite cool. I see no difference in the actual game other than the, the UI. It may be kind of tricky to actually see it visually, but honestly, the feeling when you have force feedback is so different. Uh, the track lighting, like the graphics in itself are actually really different. Like, it may not seem it, but I can definitely tell a, a difference looking at this intro scene than when I looked at it at, you know, on F122. I did show Qatar earlier, yeah. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Again, I don't have a setup, so I'll just go with option four. I'll do that. Thanks for that. <laughs> I'm start. I'm starting to learn how to. You know, still learning how to start the car. You know, like in terms of like in a race. They've removed that inside. You can't cut it now. to drive in this track without UI or without the racing line. They've changed that corner. Okay, I've got I a brand new race strategy on your MFD if you want to go. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. <laughs> I completely forgot that corner was there. I completely forgot that corner existed. Right, we'll, tr we'll, we'll try and cause a red flag soon. Really tempting to start cutting those corners though. Oh my days. Oh no. Oh, oh, I, 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 I didn't want to crash out in the process. <laughs> Why is everything red? Oh, because I invented it in my lap, didn't I? I 
I really need to fix my breaking points. We've got a lot of spare energy. Okay to use your overtake button. I'm not even breaking it full. I don't understand why the track's still red. doesn't feel too great because I haven't got a setup on but it's alright. How or when to support the safety car? Maybe just cause a massive pile up. <laughs> and no one crashed out. A safety car wasn't even thought, you know, they didn't even think to bring out a safety car. Alright, let, let's maybe restart this session and try it again because I think the game's a little bit bugged with the entire track showing as red. Straight on with Hamilton. Oh, with Russell. You're forgetting that I'm driving a Hamilton. I'm not used to the black car. You know, on the on the F1 games. I, you know, I'm still used to the silver one from last year's. When I prefer the black one. It's just so weird. Oh, the brakes are weird. I need to almost sort of like spin someone out. Maybe just brake check people. Knock their front, you know, their front wings off. Crash them out. How did they survive that? Okay, 
Okay, careful with the overtakes. That was a bit risky. We could have received a penalty. Okay, red We're flag, just... mate. Red hey! Flag. Overtakes, we'll see you in the pit lane. Okay, there's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in... It was a safety car. Or a red right flag, so far, I mean. But this is a chance to take a breath. We've got another half of this race to go, and there's still a big opportunity there. All right. So obviously we can't change our fuel load. The only thing we can do is like change our race strategy. So now if we go to like mediums or. Oh wait, okay, wait. Can I not like get off my softs? Or, or does that do it for me? It still says pit stops one. Um, ideally, I'd like to go on to the mediums for the rest of the race. Does that do it for me? Let's feels try. Like oh, it does. Okay, then. Good opportunity to get this start spot off. Come on. Wow, that well, was a heck of an impact. <laughs> Let me know your That's okay. that. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, it looks like I can't complete a race without the without the racing line. Um, let's restart the session then. We'll turn on the racing line so I actually know where I'm going. But we'll still we'll, we'll still leave everything else off. It just tra transforms me and I think makes me race quicker. Use overtake, use overtake.
kind of feels like the car like wants to center itself too much. I don't know if that's just me or. Maybe that's proving to me that I have the AI too high. Okay, DRS is now available. Of course, Max has got the quickest lap on the slower tyre. I keep locking up into that corner. I can't get that corner correct, can I? But, you know, it is that thing of, you know, getting used to driving with a new handling system. It's better on the throttle, but turn in. I mean, I, I know I don't have a good okay, setup, so but... Eight, five, one, point, you can even hear the helicopter. I actually run thrust, you know, flat out through that corner now. It's the apex there by a mile. That was a new line. Okay, copy that. I'm crashing into everything right now. I'm not used to this new handling system. Break, the car just does not turn. I guess that's this preset. I mean, it is adapted for straight line speed, so it would make sense.
approaching the pit window and you're going to be on mediums. Like even there, I couldn't get the first apex and keep it in there. Just keep running wide. Okay, right. Don't go full throttle immediately. Get around that first bend and then smash it. I ran that wide there as well. Safety car, safety car. No overtake. Red flag. Keep your delta number positive as we form up. Okay, the officials have deployed the safety car due to multiple cars being stopped. I think it's a red flag now there, mate. <laughs> Play this right, we can get a nice advantage here. Let's have a think about how we handle the rest of this race. Um hmm. So race resumes on lap eight. So yeah, there'll be eleven laps to go. So yeah, medium should do it. It's good to get back on track. Let's make the best of this restart. Let's go. Oh, I've got five seconds. Let's use overtake and burn off some of this energy. Okay, some information on Piastri. Okay, they're out of this race. Most of bottoms out on a few of the curves, but not terrible. And again, could just be the setup on this car. I suspect the suspension's different because it's straight line speed rather than downforce. So I guess it kind of doesn't really expect us to run over the curves. Because I guess what it would expect is to not hit the curbs to get, you know, to allow us to get onto the throttle earlier. Therefore, more speed. So the suspension has been adapted. But the traction is very good. I'm playing how I would like on medium traction control on F122 and the car's sticking. Yes, there's a, there, is, there are a few times when the car might jump a little bit, but it easily strains back out. Right there. <laughs> I don't expect that. I've just seen as well, they got um, Hamilton's rainbow helmet on for Saudi Arabia. 
I wonder if they have it on for Qatar as well. Kind of struggling to kind of catch up. The Aston Martin driver just moved into first place. Oh yeah, this strategy hasn't worked for Verstappen because he's on soft, so although he will be quicker now... He'll be very slow! As I look up on the res. Ambitious. But anyways, I think after this, I will uh, stop the stream because it's getting a bit warm in my room. So, yeah, I think I might stop the stream after this race, turn my PC off, and hopefully let my call or let my room cool down for. You know, hopefully. My SDR stream, but obviously I'm not too sure if that is definitely going ahead today. 
Uh, obviously, I will let you guys know when I know. Do some laps in. See, the offset looks nice. <laughs> Didn't work well for me, though. But honestly, when I used to play on my Xbox version of F1, I always chose this mode, this camera. I, I don't know why, but I now realize it's probably like one of the worst camera modes. Just whack Perez off. Blocking, he didn't slow down and give me the thing. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. He should have got a penalty for that as well. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is eleven point seven seconds. overtake button more it's time to utilize some of this energy come on <laughs> again <laughs> Red Bull hate me
Is that another warning with, you know, warning collision with Perez? No, the FIA think that was Perez's fault. Track, but officials aren't looking to push for <laughs> That's I defend from Perez for one final lap. Seems strange saying that. <laughs> to get P18. Too much power on that one. Okay, the power's still a little bit interesting, I will admit it. But it's still a thousand times better than it was on F122. And the braking, if, if, if you're just on the brakes for a little, you know, for a little bit longer, it is going to kill you. <laughs> See, this is the thing, I've been used to driving with, you know, medium traction control, so... It's gonna be very tricky for me to try and adapt to driving with none again. And I assume with, like, medium traction control, you can literally just fall for all out of any corner. Not what I'm doing. How far can you can you cut? I think honestly, because the lines are on the outside of the curb, you can pretty much cut the entire thing. P18, yay! But P19 because of the penalties. <laughs> I've been using OTC for the last two, few years and uh, I'm hoping I'll be a lot quicker. Yeah, you should be. Why does Russell have no teeth?
Russell didn't have any teeth. Did you guys see that? Russell's got no teeth. I will be honest, I think... On the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver uh, today? Well, there's no question in my mind. That drinking animation, it looked so, like, GTA-like. And I just felt like last year's was better. Like, last year's it didn't look so cartoony. That one looked a bit more cartoony to me. Which kind of then just kills the realism. Right, anything. Uh, oh, anyway, one thing I do want to do before I go. As you play F1 World, you'll earn upgrades, which can be equipped here to improve... Is what I wanted to do was this. Upgrades are split into car parts and team members. Team members require a contract in order to be equipped. As well as improving your tech level, upgrades also confer gameplay mods that change how your car and team perform on track. Okay, new items you've acquired appear here. So we've got some, so let's go and open them and see what you got. Alright. Ooh. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh, rare one. High tire wear. Ooh, epic. Nice. So I guess can I do that then? Have a new... Okay, so I have a new gearbox. I have a new head of R&D. A sign a contract. Member, you need to provide them with a contract. Each contract bestows a bonus mod upon that team member and lasts for a fixed number of events. When that contract expires, all of that team member's mods will be disabled until you give them a new contract. Note that if you replace a team member or their contract, their current contract is destroyed, no matter how many events were left on it. Oh my god, this is a little bit, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit more technical. Right, so we'll equip a new engine as well. I think that's pretty much everything that I have as well. I don't have any new brakes, but yeah, I have... Wait, so they're unique. I can, in theory, terminate this guy's contract. I don't know. Oh, they're actually unassigned. Ah, uh, yeah, so, th so this guy is equipped then. So, plus 20 engine power from s for 60 seconds after pitting. All oh, right. Lower cost to boosting car parts and higher resource for dismantling car parts. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a little bit, you know, it's, it's a little bit, you know, kind of liking this because, you know, it's kind of making you, you know, sort of like, Think of what you're doing. That does not look like Yano Ahmed. <laughs> they still haven't got his face correct. <laughs> well, they got Max's uh, helmet on. Wait, can you just equip Max's everything? I think you can. 
That's exactly what Max would be doing. <laughs> Hammer time, absolutely mocking off Lewis Hamilton. Thank you. I need a moment. Alright, calm down. Uh, we did it, we did it. I'm going to go with that one because that one, uh, uh, you know, that one actually made me laugh. <laughs> right, casual wear. Uh, what do we do? I think that's a cool hat. We'll go with that one. Shades. Yeah. Tops. Well, that, that, that's a pretty good one. I'll go with that hoodie. Kind of like some black jeans. And... Uh, kind of like basic, to be fair. Doesn't really stand out. Right, then car liveries. We'll go ahead and edit this as well. Liveries. So, we, yeah, we, we have another Max Verstappen one as well. well. You know, we'll probably just go with Max Verstappen everything. You know, make it seem like I'm a Max fanboy when I'm not. <laughs> Badges. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not going to edit this. I kind of like going with an R. I don't know why. I like that one. I might change the colour slightly. Uh, let's go with... Kind of cyan colour. Like a teal. Yeah. And then we'll go for like a purple. I don't know why, but I like that. <laughs> and yeah, none of these sort of like, oh, that works actually. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And then all of this we can just customize later, I think. Right, well, there we go. That is my new driver profile. Obviously, trophies, I haven't got any yet. Returning to Formula One in 2010 as a works team. Mercedes have become one of the most. Oh, so it like gives you like a thing. Got player cars. How do I change it so I don't have Red Bull here? <laughs> and I, I don't think you can because it's just that Red Bull are the most predominant car, so you, you actually can't change anything. I think I have something else that I can customize in my garage as well. I think I've got some new um, things. Which one's number 11, that one? Podium pass, rewards to claim. All right, we'll get that one. Grab that one. I don't even know where I am on the podium pass. Okay, I'm there. All right, how do I purchase VIP then? Right, so we've got this on the podium pass now as well. Grab a new helmet. Grab a new livery as well, and I think we've got some gloves. Oh no, an actual race suit. That's pretty good. And what else do we have? We have 2,500 Bitcoin, uh, new suit, I think, and 2,000 track data, key insights, and a podium emote as well. Oh, decent helmets, shoulder, oh wait, smaller helmet and a few other things as well. 
I am so sore. That's literally me. More pit coin. Most of the pit coin though is like you have to have VIP already. But that's fine. Holding flagma. Ooh, that could be a good one for me. Five epic contracts. Hmm, decent. What's that one? I need help. I was definitely the freeze after last year's uh, Italian Grand Prix. I don't know if any of you saw the onboard, but he literally could not get out of the car. He, he, you know, he needed help. Ah, decent then. Yeah, at the moment we don't have any other upgrades that we can put on our car right yet, right, you know, right now. But yeah, I'm probably going to call this stream here. Um, it's actually cooled down a lot in my room since I've not been racing, so... I might do maybe, you know, another one off camera, or may even start my own career, maybe. But, um, yeah. I'm going to leave this stream here for now, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on YouTube if you're watching. Subscribe as well. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, be sure to follow as well. And I'll see you all in the next stream. But until then, take care, and peace.